Good morning guys. I thought it'd be a lot of fun to do like a vlog style video today. I know so many of you have been requesting like a day in the life and honestly my life is not that exciting you guys. Our renovation is almost ending. They're just, they just have paint left. Um, and we got a lot of our rugs back. We sent them off to get clean. So I'm gonna be putting those back together. We got a few new pieces of furniture. Uh, but yeah, I've never done a video like this. So if you guys do like it and you want me to make more, give the video a thumbs up. How cute is this little monkey thing? Thing is like bigger than her, look. <laughs> Can I see your monkey? So I got ready for the day. I just did some light makeup. Um, I got my eyelashes permed. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I have a little bit of mascara on the tip and I got them permed so that they curl naturally so I don't have to do a lot to them. So I did my hair so I didn't look so crazy anymore and I'm actually gonna get ready to start making some lunch. I got this box from HelloFresh. I already opened it because I was way too excited but I haven't looked at the recipes yet but uh, yeah, we're gonna be making lunch. My husband's on his way. So if you guys have not heard of HelloFresh, it's a meal delivery system and you get to look at all of their food options that they have from their weekly meals. Oh, it looks like this is an apron. So everything is refrigerated. That's what this little thing is. Oh, this is really cool. So everything for this meal comes in this box. This is sweet Italian sausage. Okay, so these are the three that I got. And if I go into this little booklet, I will have all the recipes. So this is the mozzarella crusted chicken. And then we have, I don't think we got that one. I think we got citrus citrus skillet shrimp we got that one right there and we also got the sweet italian sausage so i'm gonna text my husband a picture of all three of them and i'm gonna see which one he's in the mood to have i think he's gonna say the parmesan crusted chicken let's see what he says while I'm waiting to hear back from him i want you guys to see like how detailed the instructions are there is pictures with all the recipes, so it's like a step-by-step. -step. So I think anybody could follow along, even if you're not used to like being in the kitchen. <laughs> like, what did I tell you guys? Parmesan crusted chicken. Oh wait, mozzarella, I kept calling it Parmesan. It's mozzarella crusted chicken. So that is the one we're gonna cook. So I'm gonna put everything else away and um, we're gonna start cooking the mozzarella chicken. He's already on his way. I have, it says it takes 30 minutes, but I literally have 15 minutes for him to get home. So let's see if we can do it, all right. <laughs> This is what the inside of the box looks like. It has all of the potatoes and all the little condiments that we're gonna need. They come in a little plastic baggie and then I have the chicken right here. I'm supposed to cut them in wedges, but I think I'm gonna make them really thin to make them super crispy. So now I'm gonna drizzle some olive oil on them. I have this one, it's just like a rosemary oregano oil, so. And I'm going to go ahead and transfer them onto my cooking sheet. And I'm gonna transfer the tomatoes too. Just adding a little bit of sea salt and also some pepper. And we're going to put it in the oven. It says to cook it for 30 minutes and then to mix it halfway through. So I'm gonna set my timer for 15 minutes. Now I'm gonna start working on the chicken and the instructions say to mix all of these ingredients in a bowl, and then I just have to add salt and pepper to it. It's been about 15 minutes for the potatoes, so I'm just tossing them so that all sides get nice and crispy. It looks like that is everything, and now we just have to let everything cook. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and clean. Um, I will show you guys what the food looks like. It smells amazing, you guys. Like, my kitchen smells so good. I've been getting so many questions about our countertops. Um, they are marble, but I'm gonna be doing a, a detailed video on everything really, really soon once the kitchen is like fully complete mm -hmm. and let you know what material we decided on and why we decided on it because 
I did so much research on it before we decided on real marble. So it has been 30 minutes. That looks amazing. I think I'm going to mix the potatoes a little bit and put it on broil for about two to five minutes so we can get the fries to crisp up a little bit more because I like them super, super crispy. So the chicken got nice and crispy and that is exactly how we like it. Super, super crispy where it's like super brown but not quite burnt, but super brown. <laughs> it looks so good, you guys. And the fries ended up getting nice and brown, so I'm gonna go ahead and serve everything and plate it. Hey babe. Ooh, it smells good up in her. You have perfect timing. I'm actually going to cut this in half and eat half of it later and half of it now. I'm gonna add a little bit of balsamic vinegar on my tomatoes because that's how I like them. And some ketchup. Mm. Is it good? Mm hmm. I'm good. How's the seasoning? I'm good. It's really, really crispy. Yeah, it's really good. Wow, this is really good. So we just finished having lunch and it was so good. I think the only thing that it was missing was the salt and pepper, which I feel like everybody has that in their kitchen. Um, oh, and the extra virgin olive oil because you have to put it on the fries and the chicken. But overall, I think it's a really good service. Um, my husband loved it. So yeah, they are sponsoring this video. So they're offering they're offering thirty five dollars off for new customers using the code Miss Liz thirty five. So I will have that down in the info box in case you guys want to try it out for yourself. I highly recommend it. By the way, what do you guys think about this lip color? Um, I'm kind of obsessed, you guys, and I just got this lipstick. It's from Makeup Forever, and it's in the color 109. It's one of their new liquid lipsticks, and this color, I think, I think this is my new uh, color obsession because it looks so good, and my sister tried it. My sister's a little bit lighter skin tone than I am, and it looks so good on her. I feel like this is just going to be a winner. Which one does she like more? This one? She likes them both. I give her a for Let's see. Which one do you want? Okay, go. <laughs> she likes, no, she likes the, the yeah, the long ones. <laughs> she likes these more. Oh, that was so cute. By the way, that wall is not finished yet. Um, we are going to be painting it. Eventually, that wall is going to be really pretty. These are our new dining chairs for our breakfast area. So I only ordered two of two chairs, even though I'm eventually gonna probably want four total. I just wanted to kind of get a feel for like um, the quality and if they're comfortable and the color. So I'm gonna put this together and show you guys when it's done. Putting together these chairs is taking way longer than I expected. There's a bunch of little screws. Um, so I have one full chair done and this is what it looks like it's really really pretty here's the second chair not done <laughs> I'm just taking a quick break and I'm a little bit hungry but it's not quite dinner time yet so I'm having a juice I also got these on overstock but I'm gonna be giving these to my mom along with the brown table that I used to have that was really, really big. But I am definitely going to be ordering two more of these chairs because I think it'll look better with four chairs and putting that somewhere else. I got a ton of questions about the table and I got this off of a website that I've never shopped on before. So I will see if I can find the link and leave it down below for you guys. But it's really, really nice. Okay, I closed the blind so I could show you guys something. But do you see up there? the windows. We actually extended this part of the kitchen. It actually used to end right where that cabinet is, but we extended it out just to create more counter space. So then the window was off-centered. So what I did to kind of make fake it a little bit is we moved the light to center it with this wall, this piece right here. 
And then I made the curtain come out all the way out here so it looked symmetrical with the, with the chandelier. <laughs> so now what I have to do is remove these two blinds and just get one big thing of blinds so you can't tell where the window ends and where it starts. So yeah, that was a quick little fix for this area because we couldn't make the window bigger. And before I even start using these chairs, I'm going to scotch guard it because that is fabric material and I definitely don't want to stain it. Here's a giant rug that's going in the living room, but now that I look at it, it is way too big for me to assemble by myself, so I'm gonna have to wait for another day. Plus, I just found out that the painters are gonna be here over the weekend, so maybe it's a good idea that I don't put these out yet until they're completely done. So I just finished filming the introduction to my next lifestyle video. I decluttered and organized my linen closet. I just hadn't filmed the introduction, which I just did right now. I'm not sure which video is gonna go up first, this one or that one. Either way, the link will be down in the info box. By the way, I went to go get my nails done. I got acrylics put on, which I never get acrylics done, but my sister found this really cool place. I love the design, but I don't like how bulky they are. I feel like they look so fat and so bulky. What do you guys think? I feel like they look really, really bulky. So I hope you guys like the video. It doesn't feel like it's gonna be interesting just because I've been just vlogging my day. Um, but we'll see how it turns out. If you guys do like it, let me know by giving it a thumbs up. Yeah, I'm gonna end the vlog here. I will talk to you guys next time. Mwah.